you look at the top of the screen and the drivers whose names are indicated in yellow, uh, like Ward Burton, those are the drivers that have to race or time their way into the field. And there are 26 of them, hopeful of one of the eight positions available to teams that were not in the top 35 in owner points last year. David Gilliland, the Cinderella story of 2006 and of last night's Budweiser shootout. Now, we talked about Jeff Gordon's car up just a little bit in the nose, you know, maybe attitude thing that he wanted to run it that way. Let's see what the attitude of this hot rod is because this thing is fast. From Chino, California, he's a second generation racer as well. It just looks fast. Looks like it comes off that corner really fast. Now, you see his valence. That's that little black thing down next to the track. That thing is pretty much sealed off. Little gap down there, quite a bit lower than what we saw on the Chevrolet of Jeff Gordon. Darrell, his first lap is going to be, it looks like, possibly down in the 48-second bracket. Right now, David Reagan's lap was a 49-12. Now, he lost a little ground through three and four, though, actually. Yeah, but watch his hands on the steering wheel. You see his gloves in there. Robert Hayes is on the right, his son Doug on the left. There it is, 48.85. So if he picks up just a half a second, he'll be at a 48.30. Oh, he's he's right going to be in the solid. teens. Larry, he, I think he'll be in the teens. That's what the uh, 88 car had run earlier. I think he may get there. Now we talk about Robert Yates, the gentleman on the left with the headset. Doug Yates, that's Robert's son. That's who's really working hard making horsepower right now. It's kind of a win-win for this crowd. I mean, the Yates, the Yates cars are obviously powered by Yates engine, but so are the Roush cars, and you got one sitting there on the pole right now. Just look right here. The RPM and the miles per hour hardly changes, just like we talk, wide open all the way around this racetrack, never lifting the throttle. Yates has seven front row starts at Daytona, and David Gilliland goes to the top of the chart by a quarter of a second. He picked up five and a half tenths. Good job, 48 man. 48 30. Good job. Same thing he ran yesterday. Right at, I mean, just very close. So that believe uh, Rudd, he ran a 19 yesterday. We'll see if he can back his up. Can Robert Yates Racing score its fifth Daytona 500 pole? Coming up, Derek Cope, Reed Sorensen, Casey Mears. And the second Bud pole in the very brief Nextel Cup career for David Gilliland. That's Todd. Todd Parrott, crew chief. His dad, buddy, and my crew chief at one time has done a great deal of work over at Roush's. And great there is racing your front family. row with Ricky Rudd on the outside. His sixth career front row start. He's a past pole sitter. And Dick Bergren is with the 33rd different driver to win the pole <laughs> for the Great American Race. And on Wednesday of last week, he set foot in Daytona for the very first time in his life. And now you're on the pole for the Daytona 500. Can you believe it? No, I can't, man. I've, uh, I've said I've been pinching myself for about the last eight months. And uh, I ain't going to quit anytime soon, obviously. I... Uh, it's real proud. I mean, the guys brought a great M&M's Ford Fusion here this weekend. And uh, Todd Parrott, you know, with all his experience and success he's had here, and, and Yates, Robert Yates and Doug Yates, boy, the engine package and, and the car that, that all the guys in the shop have prepared for me to come out here today is just unbelievable. And how about Mars, uh, Snickers and M&M's front row for the Daytona 500? That is uh, that's awesome, man. Uh, we ju we're just real glad that we could step up like they stepped up and uh, sponsored our team. And hopefully this will be a, a great start to a great relationship and, uh, you know, a good start to the year. How about this, Mike? A short tracker on the pole for the Daytona 500. What a wonderful story. A breakthrough win in Kentucky last summer. Propelled him to Robert Yates Racing, a pole in Talladega. Second last night in the shootout. And now he's on the pole for the 500. Chris and Jeff will be along to wrap things up after this.